let's talk about GERD, reflux disease, and the lungs. How does it cause problems? So, several different ways. We think number one is just that micro aspiration that can occur at any time. Micro aspiration. <laughs> what does the aspiration mean? So, small amounts of little of, of fluid that's coming up through the esophagus and then coming into the airway, possibly going down through the vocal cords. <gasps> so, you cords. could breathe it and yep. it could go, you could go, aspirate it. Yep, and, go, and go into your airways. Yeah, absolutely. And if, it go, if that acid goes in the airway, it's not supposed to be there, what happens? Irritation, big time irritation. Uh, enough where you get just bronchitis. <laughs> <laughs> or you get pneumonia where you're sick, big could, time. Could be both. So it could be both. Now, is there a reflex in the middle of the esophagus from those nerves from the brain, the vagus nerve, that sends a message to the lungs to have problems? I think so. We think there is. We think there is this, this reflex we were talking about that causes the airways to constrict off. And so that could be a, a, definitely a correlation with asthma. So when we see people with chronic asthma, there's a great percent of those that have chronic asthma. As many as 80%, they say, will have reflux disease. So that's sending a message up. So one of the things, if we see somebody with chronic asthma, if you've got chronic asthma, be sure you don't have GERD or that somebody's looking at that. And so uh, be, we want to be sure that that GERD is not aggravating the asthma because sometimes take, can we treat that? Can we treat that reflux, reflux, that problem with reflux? So definitely if you have normal symptoms of reflux, heartburn, you're regurgitating, Ooh, things are coming back up on me. Those folks tend to do very well if you treat the reflux, then a lot of times their asthma will respond. And then sometimes people that don't have reflux disease will also respond to treatment for the reflux.